Hi, I'm Dave Kassler, amateur KE0OG. This question comes from Phil Each, 1539, and it has to do with uh, one of the live streams that I did. Is there any problem caused by using steel guy wires in either dipoles or on a tower pole setup? Is there a maximum length for a piece of it, or should a long run be segmented with insulators? First of all, let's talk about steel. Steel is not anywhere near as conductive as copper quite a bit less. Steel is designed for structural strength, for tension strength, and so on like you would on a wire. Does it matter how long it is? Yes, it will try to radiate. So yes, there are certain lengths that you should make. Okay, so the problem we have is resonance in guy wires. When they resonate, they want to act. Now, the, this is a table that you can use, see the different bands here. The black bars indicate ungrounded guy wire lengths to avoid for eight amateur bands. This chart is based on resonance within 10% of any frequency on the band. So this is figure 26A in the 23rd edition of the antenna book. Until we next meet, 73.